Welcome to New Life Live with host and founder of New Life Ministries, Stephen Arterburn. New Life Live is dedicated to transforming lives one at a time, thanks to the giving hearts of you, our listeners. Our goal is to provide you with wisdom from God's Word to give you hope and help in life's hardest places. If you have a question you'd like to ask today, our phone lines are open. Call 1-800-229-3000. That number again is 1-800-229-3000. Now here's Steve. Hi there, and welcome. Glad you're with us here on what we call New Life Live. Because we are live. And uh, Dr. Jim Burns is here. Dr. Jill Hubbard is here. And uh, we want you to call us, 1-800-229-3000. There's a bit of an echo, but they're going to take care of that by punching a little button there in the studio. 1-800-229-3000. Jill and Jim, welcome Good to see you guys. And Jim, so happy to have you here. If people don't know, uh, Jim and I were speaking partners. We were writing partners. We wrote for um, folks on the family. We did a book that became, um, well, in Australia, Drug Proof Your Kids became curriculum over there. And we've just had a great, great history together. Jim, I'm glad to see you. Steve, I love being on this. Now, getting to be with yeah. Jill is wonderful, and even with you, my friend, it's Really? Great. Even so, with me? Even with sure. you. Even with well, Steve. Don't, but yeah. don't go too far. I love the team. I, I've been doing this now for a couple of months, and uh, I actually we love lo- having and you. I look forward to it. And then there's Terry over here, who's always in a different Hawaiian t-shirt that nobody ever gets to see on YouTube. And I think he should be up front sometimes, you know. Mm. Yeah. Well, we've, we've had a few uh, fun speaking experiences in Hawaii and uh, Dan Chun and all the rest. And it's great to have you here. I want to mention that we do uh, celebrate or acknowledge or observe the fact that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And uh, while my wife is hoping that I become a m- more aware of mine, uh, we will continue <laughs> to do what we can to raise that awareness. And you know, uh, mental health is a very subjective thing. And I really do believe when we say everybody's got something, I think that, you know, it's a fallen Mm -hmm. world and it's true. And if you don't think you have something, that's the something you ought to deal with. But let me tell you what we're going to do this Saturday. If you're not aware of this, we're doing a little workshop online, so you don't have to go anywhere, called Transforming grief and it's a double entendre because we're going to help people transform their grief into something very powerful but also it is the grief that transforms us when we go through the grieving process and experiencing grief and healthy grieving are two separate things but we're going to we're going to hit the road here uh, for instance we're going to help people understand that when there is something to grieve there's no need to try not to cry And there's no need to act like you need to cry. You can just be you. And we're going to talk about a word that rhymes with grief. And this is such a killer for some people, is the word relief. Some people feel guilt and shame because they're relieved that the person died or, or went away or whatever. And so we're going to look at all these practical things and help you experience, very last session, something that maybe you're not experiencing in the full realm of its spectrum, and that is hope, real hope, not wishing, not wishful thinking, not false hope, but real hope. And if you want to sign up and join us, uh, like I say, you don't have to, you don't have to go anywhere. It's online. Transforming grief this Saturday. Go to our website, newlife.com, or you can just call one eight hundred New Life. Jill, you have a thought there before we go to the break. How did you know? Yes. Um, You know, sometimes you were talking about the relief. Sometimes the relief comes in that you can finally look at the relationship honestly after the person is gone. So, And then there's hope in moving forward. Right. Thank you for that. All right. If you want to join us, 1-800-229-3000. Dr. Jill Hubbard, Dr. Jim Burns here. Jim, your latest book is entitled, well, it's about adult kids. What's the title? Uh, doing life with your adult children, keep your mouth shut, and the welcome mat out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take a break and come right back for more New Life Live. Glad you're with us here today. 
I lost my mother, and then her brother, and then my sister, and then my husband, and then I lost my best friend. Are you overwhelmed by the intense feelings of grief, shock, denial, anger, guilt, sadness, depression? You're not alone. When we lose people and there is grief, and then with each subsequent grief or loss that happens, it's a snowball effect. The New Life Transforming Grief Online Workshop is Saturday, May 7th. You'll get tools to help you understand and process your grief and a community to travel through the valley with you. Let New Life help you process your loss, begin a journey of acceptance, and learn how to extend the comfort you've received to help others grieve and rebuild their lives too. To register or to find out more, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE, 1-800-639-5433, or online at newlife.com, 1-800-NEW-LIFE. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We are back. I mentioned this yesterday. We announced a brand new thing. Uh, it's a partnership that New Life has with Museum of the Bible and the Green Family and Inspire, another organization, and it's called Lumina. What we are creating is an experience at the Museum of the Bible in their world theater that you won't ever forget. Um, Nicole C. Mullen is going to be part of it. Jen Wilkins is going to be part of it and others. Um, are going to be there, and then you're going to experience the Bible in a way that you couldn't experience it anywhere else. Here's the, here's the purpose, is to create a truth movement, because women have such a tremendous impact in the home. Now they have it, and many folks uh, over the course of COVID have discovered that what's being taught in schools, well, actually what's being promoted in schools, uh, go against every value that we have. Mm -hmm. And so there's nothing political about wanting your values to be accepted or at least uh, acknowledged while other values are being literally promoted. And so we're wanting to impact the world, and I think uh, women are the ones to do that. We always want men to step up and lead and do those things, but, boy, the influence that women have in the school system, in the community, in the family, uh, we're going to— we're just going to empower you. We're going to equip you and inspire you with this immersive experience called Lumina. It's November the 3rd and the 4th this year, and you can call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We would love for you to talk to your women's ministry leader, or if you are one, get a busload of women and come be with us either November 3rd or the 4th. Nothing like this has ever existed and uh we are really excited about it. Now, having said that, I want to also acknowledge one more thing. And by the way, if you want to join us, 1-800-229-3000. But Jim and I both uh, knew Peb Jackson well. He, he's one of the finest people uh, that has ever lived, probably knew more people than uh, eight people combined. And uh, he passed away, and he's struggled with cancer for quite some time time and um jim anything you want to say about peb well you said it well you know so many people knew him and all of us felt like we were his best friend because he had the ability to make you feel special um he did and and in just such a, a great way um and behind so many wonderful christian organizations yep. really literally uh he he made such a difference in so many different organizations and uh it's a it's a sad day to lose him and a happy day that he is with his savior and uh, very mm -hmm. inspirational. We, you and I were talking about this, but very inspiration inspirational in my wife Kathy's life. In fact, we probably wouldn't be married if it wasn't for Peb because he got her to go to Azusa Pacific, where I ended up being. And the first day of school, I saw this girl and I said, "I'm going to date that girl one day," and ended up marrying her. And and it was Peb who got her to this uh, to the school. And just what That's a beautiful so what a beautiful man. I didn't know that story. Yeah. Um, I think it was, it must have been his, I think it was his 60th birthday, or it could have been, yeah, 60th birthday in uh, Colorado Springs. People literally, I, I know one guy flew in from South Africa. I mean, yeah. people flew in from all over the world to celebrate uh, his birthday. Rick Warren was there, many other yeah. folks 
there. I was fortunate enough. I got to speak uh, for a few minutes. And just I've never seen a birthday party uh, like that where so many people decided I I've got to go and honor this man of great honor. And Peb was a guy of tremendous, tremendous integrity. And I, uh, I am so privileged to have known him. And I really believe that guy is sitting there with Jesus right now. I know that to be true. No so. doubt. And his wife, Sharon, wonderful, gave him up a lot so that he could be with so many different people. And yeah. he actually has a twin brother, Shell, who lives here in California. And, uh, and I'm thinking about Shell today, too, because that's a tough one on him. Really is. So uh, we, we pray for all those that are around Peb. We'll miss him greatly. And, uh, you know, it does bring up the fact that we have losses here in this fallen mm -hmm. world. No matter how wonderful and great you are as a human being, you're not going to avoid loss. And the loss, it's easy to see that loss is associated with uh, someone that we love dying, but loss can be so many other things. I remember, Jim, uh, our good friend Rich Van Pelt. Yep. I didn't really understand the grief associated with the loss of a pet until uh, he lost his wonderful dog. And I knew it was painful for folks, but, but you know, single guy. And uh, I really came to understand that kind of loss and have, have since been able to help some people with that kind of loss but it, it's not a superficial thing it is uh, horrific to go through no oh, right I mean loss and crisis is self-defined Jill mm -hmm. I mean don't you think I mean it, mm -hmm. it, it so what might be I mean a loss of a dog is we kind of sometimes might uh, laugh about some of that but no that's one of the deepest losses some people can have well yeah because sometimes that's people's uh, most intimate connection sure, sure. right yeah. and the, a dog a pet is so accepting it's where yeah. you really can feel loved right. and and cared about so right. huge I, I remember one time a, a neighbor showed up on my doorstep he had been nursing his dog and the mm -hmm. dog died in the night and he was a mess and he said right. can I please come in yeah so we sat and chatted it right. yeah Right, right, right. All right. You know, my call screener, uh, it doesn't work. It's not connected to oh, the Internet. Well, we yet. have lots and, of people And uh, how about you guys pick a caller and we'll go there. Who do you oh, want to talk to first? Okay. <laughs> Anybody? Terry, fine. could you just pick someone for us? And who did Terry pick? I, what? Okay, it's hard. I can't see it. So, um Hello? We are a professional group, yes, even though are, this sounds but... <laughs> very amateurish. Um, yeah, so it's Andrea. Andrea. Andrea is our okay. first caller. Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, how you doing? Sorry, Andrea. Andrea, how are you today? Are you today, Andrea? Are you there? Andrea's not there. This is well, the beauty of live radio, right? Let's yeah. pick someone else okay. and talk with them. Since Andrea is not there, maybe I we'll think... get to her later on. Just pick another person, Terry. And uh, by the way, if you want to watch the confusion, you can join us on YouTube. It's uh, absolutely <laughs> stunning. Our glasses don't work. I can see John. We John. have John. Okay. Calling from John. Baton how Rouge. are you doing today? Steve Arterburn here with Jim Burns and Jill Hubbard. How are you? John's having a problem getting through today. Terry, what what's going on here? I'm just. So we have lots of calls, but. But he's not able to connect us with a caller <laughs> so that happens sometimes so don't hang up hold on yeah so let us know terry when you get that figured out and uh i want to tell you about since we're we've got a moment here i want to tell you about a little gift we have for anybody that gives us a gift of any amount it's 100 days to freedom from anger now like when the calls don't work of course i could be <laughs> angry but i'm not i'm just or when i can't see the board <laughs> frustrated <laughs> and hoping that we get it figured out really soon but this is a wonderful book and you know we've had we we had these people come together and say here's seven hundred thousand dollars we want you to match this we want to double this and uh, if you give any amount i'll send you this daily devotional it is fantastic and uh, look at what rc sproul says about anger he says anger is not in itself sinful but it may be the occasion for sin the issue of self-control is the question of how we deal with anger Violence, tantrums, bitterness, resentment, hostility, and even withdrawn 
silence are all sinful responses to anger. You know, I, if you struggle with anger, uh, there's hope for you. We can help you uh, with it. This little devotional will, any amount, I'll send it to you, our way of saying thank you. And, you know, I've just been so blessed. I have many other problems, but anger has not been one. In fact, the other day I was uh, kind of raised my voice and my kids started laughing because they, <laughs> they, they thought I was faking being upset because I don't get angry. Anyway, um, 1-800-229-3000. You can't get through and we won't talk to you, but uh, you can Please try, try here. And Terry's going to let us know when it's all good and we'll go back to the calls. But in the meantime, uh, Larry Sonnenberg has saved us and he's come in <laughs> with a testimony and, uh, and wants to talk about that matching I do. fund. Go ahead, Larry. Do. do your thing. Okay. First, thank you everybody who has given and will give to this match. It's an enormous match. And if, uh, if we get it matched by the end of May, God is an amazing God. He's on the throne. He'll make it happen. He made it happen, so a group of donors gave $706,420. And uh, it's, it scares me in my humanness, but I know God is faithful, and yeah. he'll come mm-hmm. through. Yeah. So, folks, if you would give to that, thank you. Um, let me read you. This is what Barb wrote. She said, I have been a member of New Life, Club New Life, for years. It doesn't matter how, exactly how many years, as it matters how much your ministry has impacted our family. Thank you. And then she lists the ways that we've impacted. Books, books, books. Rehab in Phoenix for our daughter saved her life. Radio program. Gifts that you've given through the years. My favorite is a starfish. Oh, I love that. The call center. (laughs) I called for a Christian counselor, followed up with her for over a year. You email daily devotionals every day. CDs. I played them until our player broke. The kind thank you calls, a conference in D.C. my husband attended, Every Man's Battle Book, we still use Bounce Your Eyes. Mm. New life is woven into the fabric of our family's present mature spiritual wellness. We're way past the baby stage. You pushed, you challenged. I hope you all can, I hope you all can comprehend your ministry's value to us and those we've shared your resources with. We praise God for you all. Mm, I love that. Thank you for wow. sharing that, Larry. They've really <laughs> taken in a lot, done a lot that we have to offer, there's right? A, there's a lot that happens at New there Life. There is. And it's God's exclamation point by the Holy Spirit responding mm. to people that are doing things. And you can have that same thing. We, we can help you in many ways. This radio program ministers to people. It's hard to imagine just how a, a voice on a box you know, and listening to what you guys do, it's amazing. Workshops, counselors, she referenced. There is a lot that can happen uh, through this ministry. So we'll, well f- go ahead there. Just say we, look, forward. we, we just Sorry. look forward to you giving us a call, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. the beginning of making something happen. Ever since we started, we have been in partnership with people who have helped us financially. New Life started by some people uh, putting in a couple of million dollars to start new life and today i mean i look back over the history there have been major donors who have done just amazing things for new life but consistently there have been the club new life Mm -hmm. members who've been the foundation uh, and just you know thirty dollars a month thirty dollars a month and then even the folks that have i mean we've been inspired by people who have not had much at all and and they've given a huge portion of that to us. Uh, you know, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is the Sermon on the Amount, where <laughs> the, the woman, I mean, she gave it all. I mean, that is a powerful thing. And so uh, we will send you this wonderful book, 100 Days to Freedom from Anger, saying thank you. But I say thank you, anybody that's ever given to us, thank you. For getting us to this point, these are great days in the life of new life. I mean, we just uh, have never, it's just, well, we're just shaking our heads and grateful. And a lot of that is because the work Larry's done and others with him. A lot of it's the folks like Jill and Jim that work with us and you who listen, support, pray, and give. We are thank you, thankful 
for that. Now you haven't given us given enough for us to have a phone line uh, that works today. So uh, we are now starting the phone line fund, and uh, we will send you a little tiny baby telephone as our way of saying thank you for getting us uh, connected. Oh, there's the music. Maybe we can fix this thing at the break. Don't go away. If you want to join us, 1-800-229-3000. We're going to be here another one hour and 39 minutes and 50 seconds. We'd love to talk with you. Dr. Jim Burns, he is the author of Doing Life with Your Adult Kids. And he talks about not talking, keeping the, the welcome mat out, even though you're kind of glad they don't live with you anymore. And then <laughs> Dr. Jill Hubbard, of course, uh, Forgiving Our Fathers and Mothers. Great, great book to give to your adult children so that they will finally forgive you for what you did to them. All that is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We'll take a break and come back. It had become very apparent that some of the things I was involved with were taking over my life. In today's world, men are barraged with inappropriate content and images all day, every day. Some say that certain behaviors are just no big deal. It's just part of being a guy. But it's simply not true. It's a battleground for every man, and the opportunities to fail are everywhere. New Life's Every Man's Battle Workshop can help. After seven years, he just one weekend, a completely changed man. For over 20 years, New Life Ministries has been helping men regain their integrity and purity through their one-of-a-kind Every Man's Battle Workshop. He said, you know, I think this is something that every man should go to. Married, dating, it was definitely life-changing. Now the workshop is coming to Orange County, California, May 13th to the 15th. Don't wait for him to call. To find out more, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE or go to newlife.com. 1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. Your ministry has saved my life. If you struggle with emotional hurt, family or marriage problems, the pit of depression, or the pain of addictions, we can help. I'm down 100 pounds now from what I was. You guys are awesome. You are a blessing to America. <laughs> Our treatment programs provide clinically appropriate solutions from licensed professionals all in a biblical framework. I have had problems with alcohol. I think God has ordained this place to be His. You don't have to be a prisoner of your pain. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. She tells me that I'm a new man and I feel like a new man. It worked for me and it can work for them too. This time it is different. If you're ready to take the first step toward genuine spiritual and emotional healing, please call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Call one 800 New life. That's 1 800 639 5433. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, call toll free 1 800 229 3000. Now back to New Life Live. We are back. We're rebooting. You know, it happens sometimes this uh, technology that we have to to deal with it does mess us up let me give you a verse here uh, that might help you today second corinthians 1 3 and 4 says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ the father of mercies and the god of all comfort who comforts us in all our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the very comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. God comforts us in our darkest times so that we are able to have strength to give others help and strength during their worst times. I'll tell you, this is a ministry where we have watched people go through the worst of struggles and then rise up and serve others. They give, they support, they go to workshops, they volunteer. It's just incredible. And many of us, as in me especially, have had tremendous problems, and now we have a passion uh, to help others. You know, we, I wanted to use the phrase, no one else liked it, we love hurting people. But uh, <laughs> it just, you know, it didn't work. But, but the point is, if you're hurting, mm -hmm. uh, we want to be here for you. Uh, someone said we're like the dirty jobs of Christian uh, community. Mm -hmm. We want the tough yeah. things. And we're not a, a ministry that's looking for people to feel better. We want transformation so that 
things change and they don't go back again. And so if you know somebody that needs us, uh, if you need us, you can call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE and we will be there for you. Just like uh, we're gonna be there uh, for this caller that has finally come through. Let's see, if this doesn't work, uh, I'm, I may uh, have to leave the program. But let's go to Robin, Chino Hills, listening on KKLA. Robin, uh, how you doing? And thanks uh, for being there for us. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. And you have no idea how <laughs> okay. thrilled we are to hear your voice. <laughs> Well, What's going on in your life? One thing. I'm, well, first of all, I'm Robin from San Jose, and I listen on KFAX. So okay. It's okay. All right. At least I got to know. We were close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm 63, and I'm single, and I, I live alone in a small apartment. And I was so blessed to receive a scholarship for this Transforming Grief workshop that's yes. coming up on Saturday. Wonderful. And I've done, yeah, it's wonderful. And I've done a lot of other workshops in the past, but never online. I mean, I've done Zoom interviews and such, but I've never done a workshop online. And I've never also done any grief work, but I'm in trauma therapy for having high ACEs with a Christian counselor. And I have an exorbitant amount of loss in my life. Mm. And I'm just really... I'm very concerned about how how do I prepare my heart and my home to do this full day workshop without having anybody that's near nearby for support or and this is such a highly emotional and intense subject and I just I don't know what to expect and how to yeah. prepare. Mm -hmm. Well, Robin, I I'm so glad that you're coming and certainly understand that kind of anxiety that you would have. I'll just say this, you know, we've never lost anyone yet. No one's ever blown up or, or disintegrated <laughs> over just too intense. And so it's going to be safe for you. And you're not going to have to do this alone. One of the things that we do afterwards is that we have a, a sustained healing group that you can be part of, and then there are okay. other support groups that you can be part of. So nobody has to leave that day and just be alone. And then the thing that separates all of our intensives from others is that you'll hear uh, me speak, Becky Brown's going to speak, others will speak, but then you go into a group, mm -hmm. and, and you're with a licensed clinical Christian therapist that is going to help you process what you just heard. So you're not on your own to kind of think it through and figure it out. So I think it's going to be a great day okay. of healing for you, Robin. And we, we've we been doing this a long time. This is a new subject for us. But every, every workshop yeah. we do, uh, it seems like that the, the grief work that hasn't been done comes to the surface. And so that's why we're doing this. But I would say to you, uh, your humility of heart is a great preparation already. Jill, you have mm -hmm. a thought here? Well, yeah. So, Robin, you're not going to just be sitting in a lecture or a, a class, right? There are times right. of listening, but, but it's not just passive. You are going to participate. And there, it, when you're in the groups, other people are in the same boat. So there, I, I, people have reported, Steve, there is that sense of community that you get from the group process, even over Zoom. Um, so I think what Steve is saying, that feeling of not being alone, you will be surprised at how much you will feel with others, even though you're sitting in your apartment by yourself. Yeah. So I'm glad you called. Um, I'm going to send you, I don't know if you yeah. have it, but uh, I'm going to send you a couple of books here that I think help in the process. One is healing is a choice. I think that, you know, one of the choices is the choice to grieve. Uh, also, take your life back and so that you are the decision maker of your life. If you haven't turned that over to anybody else, we'll get that to you. And then I'll send you this little 100 Days to Freedom from Anger. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. I think you're going to be glad you did it. You won't regret it.
We'll be back after this. Most of my life, I've been dealing with an opioid addiction. Why is opioid addiction quickly becoming one of our nation's biggest killers? Maybe it's because it isn't only those who are addicted who are in denial. We did what I see so many parents do, is it can't be an addiction. There's something medically wrong. It's impossible to solve a problem when you don't know what you're up against, and families will try to find any explanation except the one that will put them on the right path. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a family disease. It doesn't affect just the individual. If someone you love is abusing painkillers, know what you're up against. It's time to admit it's addiction and seek treatment. Call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We have Christ-centered partner treatment centers around the country. Call 1-800-639-5433 or visit us online at newlife.com. We just made a decision. We will do whatever it takes. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I was really living a very anxiety-filled life. I turned on New Life, and the topic that day was about anxiety. And just by listening, I got relief. You can help New Life stay on the air by joining Club New Life today. When you sign up to support us monthly through Club New Life, we'll send you the new member thank you gift of the Life Recovery Bible Personal Size, the One Year Life Recovery Prayer Devotional, the New Life Journal, a New Life Pen and Highlighter, and a New Life Zipper Tote to hold it all. Plus, there are ongoing benefits like access to the Club New Life video library, the monthly Club New Life CD or download, quarterly resources, free shipping on purchased resources, and discounts on workshops. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. Support Club New Life, and together we can help hurting people find help and hope in life's hardest places. Call 1-800-639-5433 to join Club New Life today. We're glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We are back. You know, that scripture, 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4. I mean, God doesn't want any pain to ever go to waste. And he wants to help you. He uses people to help others. And then you can reach out and help other people. What a fulfilling thing for you to watch somebody move out of the same quagmire you were in to see them uh, make a difference in their life because you decided to reach out and help them. That's what God wants for all of us. Well, let's go uh, to Beth. Beth is calling from Colorado Springs, and uh, she listens to KGFT. And Beth, welcome to New Life Live. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing Hi. well. Thank you. How are you? Good. I'm okay. Uh, we have a little allergy problem there, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> so how how could we help? Do we have to? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> okay. Um, our adult daughter is married to a woman. Um, we don't live close in proximity. Okay. They would like to come and visit and expect to stay in the same bedroom. Mm-hmm. And I just, um, my question for you, is that a compromise of our faith to allow that? Yeah, you know, that's, um, uh, of course, the reason you're calling. It's a tough question, Mm -hmm. and it's a good question. Um, Jim happens to be an expert (laughs) in these adult uh, children things, and so while I'm trying to think of something to come up with, I'm going to have uh, Jim to to start here. Because let me just say this. It's not not a a yes or Mm -hmm. no in every situation. And there are people that would are listening that would say, "Well, you just don't, you just don't let them do it." Um, we want to give you support in what you do, Jim. What are you, your thoughts here, Beth? You'd be surprised how many times this question comes to me because I speak on this subject all the time about doing life with your adult children. Uh, amazing amount of times. And uh, first of all, what I say is what Steve just used the word support. And I think even though we might be repulsed by a decision they made or they violated our values, we have to be the people who can kind of come and support because if they crash and we're not there, they're not going to come to us. Mm. So what I always say to parents is, do they know what you believe? Yes. Do they know how you feel? Sure. They know how we feel. Okay. Then broaden the subject, but still the decision, the question that you asked was, do they, do they come into our house and sleep in the same bedroom? 
I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. For me, I'll just tell you what we'd do. We would say, you know, in our home, we, we love you guys, we care for you guys, but in our home, this doesn't happen. Um, just what, like it would not happen with a, a, a you know, a, if a boyfriend or girlfriend came home and, you know, they were not same sex. It just doesn't happen. And we want to tell you, we love you and we care for you. In fact, I went so far once with one of our relatives to say, if you feel totally uncomfortable, we'll actually pay for a motel. We just don't do it in our home. That's just our, our deal. And if it's weird, I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? They ended up being fine about it. But there are other people who would say, sure, we're not going to we're not going to cause a big stink and we're going to you know, have them do that. And so I think that's where discernment comes in. And this is going to sound crazy, but as more of a pastoral person, I, I think this is where the discernment of the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. will help you. And, you know, you're going to – neither answer is going to be wonderful for you because it's going to be harsh or hard. But you mm-hmm. still go with what, you know, you know God kind of tells you to do. And, uh, and, and you show extra love. Mm-hmm. Um, in this case, that's my opinion. So, but yeah. the difference here, Beth, and what I'm hearing from you is that they're married. So, yes. are they legally married? Yeah. Okay. So, for me, that's a little different because that is the standard. Yeah. If you're not married, <clears throat> excuse me, you you don't get to sleep in the same room, right, right. and that's usually acceptable. At a certain point, when people have They know what you believe, but they've made a choice to have a different value system. It's not that you condone it, and and surely they know that you don't condone it, right? But sometimes you have to be Jesus to them instead of preaching at them. And so sometimes the most loving thing is to say, I'm going to honor this legal binding agreement, even though I don't agree with it. No, and, and, a lot within that. And what's interesting is I, I agree with you, mm-hmm. Jill, too, that we can do it, but somebody else may take a different view, and they're not sure. wrong either. That's what's no. interesting in this case. No, no. Okay. So it's so, looking at that because you want to keep the relationship open because I know so many people who have been in gay relationships yeah. that over time realize, you know what? This isn't right. Right. Okay. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's, a, here's a different angle for you. Uh, you would say to her, honey, you know that we have accepted this. Uh, That's why you're, you know, we've invited you to come and visit. You know that we accept you. We accept your partner. You don't even have to say, you know, we don't think it's right, but we accept you. She knows you don't think it's right, but you say we've accepted you. And and I'm going to ask you to accept me. And the me that I'm wanting you to accept is just a little too uncomfortable with having you stay in our home. And I want to pay for you to have a hotel. It doesn't mean that I'm rejecting you or your partner, but we've, we've, just, we've just come to a place where we love you, we accept you, but we don't think at this stage that we can let you stay here in our home and I hope and pray that just as we have come to accept you and this that you could accept us and and accept this gift of a hotel room where you'll probably have a much better time uh, being there than if you were staying in our home now having said that I want to give people a different perspective let's say that your adult child has had a partner for 20 years your adult child is 70 and the partner is 75 and your child is wanting to come and see you before they die of cancer and their partner is Mm -hmm. the one that is committed to staying up all night and doing what needs Mm -hmm. to be done to take care of the health of your child see that's a little different Mm -hmm. perspective that's not about coming into our house and having sex in one of our beds it's so i'm just saying that th- there are certain situations where compassion mm-hmm. and, uh, and love might give you a different perspective. Now, mm-hmm. I, I, I just hope that that helps you. And I don't think you mm-hmm. should feel badly about inviting this couple, your child and partner, to come and visit. And I don't think you should feel one bit of of shame or anything of not wanting them to spend the night 
in the home. Mm -hmm. So tell tell me what you're thinking after you've heard these perspectives. We've given you three different three ways different to look at it. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, I, I appreciate each and every one. Um, um, yeah, it's hard. I, we have a very close, we have a very close relationship with our daughter. And of course, this has damaged that relationship. Sure. So um, I just, my my biggest fear is that, um, you know, that even what you you had recommended, Steve, that that would obliterate mm. a relationship. And and because they are just so sensitive, and um, I think they want the acceptance so much. Yeah. Um, so, and, and my husband and I are on different comfort levels. <laughs> um, he, he feels a little bit more stronger that uh, we should put the burden back on them, possibly even say to them, you know how we feel about this, um, that this isn't what we feel is God's best for you. Um, so if you're okay staying here knowing that, I mean... You know, that's that's something that my husband and I have discussed, and, and that's kind of something that we might feel more comfortable talking to them about in that regard. Um, so, Well, it, but, it yeah, is um, so tough, and I hear what you're saying there, that, mm -hmm. that in, in your mind, in your husband's mind, as long as uh, they understand the way you feel, that you might let them stay. And... Uh, it, it's a really, really tough issue because th they don't think that what they're doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. They think it's right. right. Jill, what were you going to well, say? Well, I think the idea of, of like, sweetheart, we don't want to be dismissive of you. That is our fear. Right. And we value mm -hmm. our closeness in relationship. But your dad and I are just not quite there in our process of all of this. Right? Or we're still on the path of figuring this out for ourselves. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out what's going to be most comfortable for all of us because each of us have sensitivities here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so tough. And it's mm -hmm. so easy for someone who's never been in this oh, situation yes. to, to, to give a black just, and white answer. Yeah. Right. So I, I hope something we've said is helpful and um, I just pray that you're going to have wisdom discernment and that it's going to be accepted by you. I came into this thinking that my husband was the cause of many of our issues. The New Life Intimacy and Marriage Workshop is coming to Washington, D.C. July 22nd to the 24th. But after learning about our attachment styles, I understood how our past hurts were playing into our present problems. Join Steve Arterburn. It's been a dream of mine for a long time to help people to grow more intimately together. And we believe that everybody has room to grow in the intimacy level of their life. And Mylan and Kay Yurkovich. We help couples understand how their attachment style is sabotaging their current relationship. And then we teach them how to create comfort in a relationship. And New Life's group counselors will help you focus on the area that will benefit your marriage most. To register or to find out more, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Here at this workshop, we had our first ever conversation without yelling, blaming, and accusing. 1-800-NEW. L-I-F-E. Chris Williams on coaching. Oftentimes I get asked, what is the difference between therapy and coaching? The biggest difference between the two is that a therapist is going to be looking for a diagnosable mental health condition, whereas a coach is going to look at a particular issue and help a person work through that. If you need a coach, call New Life today and ask about the New Life Coaching Network. Our coaches have been trained and screened with the same intensive process we use for our network counselors. If you're looking at an issue in your life that you just kind of want to change, whether it be your weight or leadership or other areas of behavioral patterns, check out coaching. There can be some really, really helpful things for you. Take control of your life and take action to achieve your goals. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 and talk to us about getting a new life coach. 
1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. Well, we're back. Steve Arterburn here. 1-800-229-3000. That is the phone number. And uh, let's uh, go right over here and talk with John. He is calling from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. John, you are on. How you doing today? What's up? You're on. How you doing? How you doing today? Doing all right. Hey, I have a question. Um, kind of a long story, so I'll just keep it short. Uh, my my wife's mother came over about a couple months ago and was verbally assaulted my wife and then physically assaulted her. Mm-hmm. And um, my wife was being pinned down to the ground and she had to fight the only way she could to save herself because she was basically suffocating. So she wow. grabbed her mom's neck, um, got her off. Then her mother called the police from our house. And my wife was arrested. Now she's facing a felony charge. And she's also grieving the loss of her mother, who she's not allowed to talk to through the courts. And her mother also is, won't take any blame for what she did. Yeah. And she's telling all of her family uh, that it was basically my wife's fault and that this is what's good for her. Let and, me ask you uh, this. Has uh, anyone ever witnessed another incident where your wife's mother uh, was aggressive or belligerent, uh, seemingly out of control, whether there was any kind of physical stuff or not. Has anybody else seen any of that in her? Yeah. Um, her, My wife's dad, who they're divorced now from the mom, and uh, also my wife's brother, they were physically abused as children. Okay. And well, so here's here's my thought. Everyone is aware of that history. Okay, here's my thought. You say to your wife, um, the the thing I need you to do, honey, is delay grieving over your mother and not having contact with her and all of that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go to work on you uh, not being uh, found guilty of a felony that you did not commit we're going to we're going to be lining up witnesses in our court case so that mm-hmm. essentially the tr- the charges will be dropped because the prosecutor will see that they can't win this case with family members saying I was abused by this woman and the other things that your very expensive and very good attorney <laughs> is going to do but this is where you use the 401k money to get the best attorney you can in this situation do you do you kind of get what i'm i'm saying here yeah and we have we have a lawyer we got a lawyer on this case uh we are we're waiting to hear back from the uh i guess the sheriff's department whether or not they're going to take this to the district attorney and file felony charges or if they're going to take it to the clerk and file well, file you be charges. sure so you be sure be sure your attorney knows everything you've told me and more so that when that attorney is talking to the sheriff's office they get the picture uh this is not going to work in front of a jury so we're going to drop these charges now that's what i wanted to say about your situation did you have a question that you want us to answer um, well, I mean, it was kind of how to help her emotionally because it's tough. Uh, she's really strong, but there are times when, I mean, she's just really grieving. And she said, I mean, the words basically like, you know, I feel like I've lost my mother, you know, like she's gone. She and, lost her uh, mother a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And what she needs to do is lose the idealized version of her mother in her head. Her mother is a toxic human being. And her mother is abusive. And there's this, um, this thing um, of victimhood where you're drawn. You have kind of a trauma bond with the person that's hurting you so much. And, and that's the kind of stuff you can help her 
see and let her cry and moan and weep to you, but but don't let her uh, become weak in her her thoughts about her own value and the need for you guys to step up the defense and get this thing uh, thrown out. Well, and John, I think it's the hope of <clears throat> having the mother that you wanted and needed. If we're still in relationship, maybe mom will grow. Maybe mom will see the light. If I, if I do all the right things, maybe she won't be abusive anymore. And I think this just shattered that for your wife. And so it's the loss of really that that false hope and seeing more clearly that mom ha- has major problems. I, I mean, this is, this is severe, that she would come over, attack, turn it around, and call the police and send her daughter to jail. That, that you know, it's one thing if she's upset and she's reactionary, and that's not okay. But to go through, it's almost like it's plotted out, right? It's a scenario that mom is playing out. Um, from her, perhaps her past trauma, but it's not safe for your wife. So, but I think emotionally, that's tough. And so there's a lot of sitting with helping her in the midst of that reality, that the mom she hoped would come around isn't there and isn't going to be there. And, And quite frankly, your wife should not ever be in the presence of her mother, again, unless the mother gets real help and you see a major transformation because she could do the same thing at any moment. So I think the days of her just coming on over to visit, uh, you know, all of that needs to be uh, dealt with and and done. And I'm glad she's got you there to Mm -hmm. help her sort this out because this is one of those uh, situations you just never plan on this kind of thing happening. Hey, John, Mm -hmm. your job is to not fix this relationship with her mother. Your job is to come alongside her. And it sounds Mm -hmm. like you're doing a good job with that. But again, you know, the the answer for you is to come alongside, listen, care, and then get her the help. I mean, she her, the experience that you've just said in terms of even the abuse early yeah. on, that means she needs to work through that with counseling, even if she's done it before. It's like an onion peel. And your job is to be there mm-hmm. and support and care for her. Um, in some ways, you're going to be the Jesus with hands and, and feet and maybe some lips to help her uh, become the kind of person that... Uh, her mom was never going to allow her to be because of her mom's dysfunction and, yeah. and, and toxic nature. So yeah. mm. you don't have to fix that relationship between her and her mom. So let me send you Jill's book, uh, Forgiving Our Fathers and Mothers. I think that's going to help your wife and you be sure you get the support and connection you need so that you can be that strong person for her in this very, very tough time. Well, we are going to do another program right after this, one 800 229 3000 to join us. If you want to join us online, the virtual Transforming Grief Workshop this Saturday, you call 1 800 New Life or go to newlife.com. The following weekend, May 13th, Every Man's Battle is going to be in Southern California in Orange County. You, if you need to come on May 13th, you could begin a whole brand new life for yourself full of integrity and self respect. Maybe you've been married or in a relationship with someone that needs this about 75 percent of the people that come it's the other person that calls first so do that pick up the phone and call on july 15th restore is happening in dallas that's for any person who's been hurt by someone with a sexual integrity problem and then um, intimacy and marriage july the 22nd in washington dc and that's where The Museum of the Bible is located, and the Lumina event is going to be November 3rd and 4th at Museum of the Bible. We love you. We we thank you for listening. 1-800-229-3000 to join us in the next hour. Thanks for listening. We hope this program has helped you by giving you insights for handling the challenges you face in your life. We want you to know that we're here for you, but you also need to know that New Life Live is a listener-supported ministry make your donation or to get any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or write to us at New Life Ministries, P.O. Box 1029, Lake Forest, California, 
92609. Please join us again tomorrow for New Life Live. Hi, thank you for watching New Life Live. You know, New Life Live is a Christian counseling program where we deal with the hard questions about life, relationships, kids, free choice, freedom of will, whatever. It's all right there on New Life Live every day, every weekday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. If you want to call into the live broadcast, you can find the schedule on newlife.com or click the social media link right below. You can see every episode of New Life Live on the New Life YouTube channel. Watch it with a friend, watch it later. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll never miss another episode. So if you want to listen on the go, download the app. The link is right below. And I hope if you need some information, if you want to get some help, you'll call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. And I'll see you next time.